Hello, it's Christian with Mate. HomeKit is a powerful home automation platform built into your Apple products. Let's walk through the process of setting up HomeKit from the first step through adding devices and setting up scenes. Open the Home app. You'll be greeted with a short explanation of some of HomeKit's best features. Select Get Started. The first thing you need to do is add an accessory. I'm going to start with an Apple Airport Express that we can use with AirPlay 2. Select Add Accessory. Some HomeKit products have a code you can scan or manually enter. The piece we're adding does not have a code, so I'm going to select Don't Have a Code. The Onyx Express has been discovered, so I'm going to select it. After it is successfully added, I'm going to assign it to a room. Just to show you the process, I'll add a room called Living Room. Save, then select Done, and your HomeKit Home is ready to continue adding rooms and devices. The process of adding a new device to your HomeKit Home typically goes one of two ways. How you add the device depends on if the device gives you a code to enter or not. Many devices will have an eight-digit code on them somewhere that can be either scanned or manually entered to add them to HomeKit. Other devices will automatically be discovered and can be added by selecting Don't Have a Code or Can't Scan. The discovered devices will appear in a list. Select a device you want to add and follow the instructions. The setup process will include naming the device and selecting or creating a room for the device to be in in your HomeKit home. For help adding specific devices, check out our other videos. Once you've set up your HomeKit home, you may need to add rooms or make changes to existing rooms. To get to the Room Settings menu, select Rooms at the bottom of the screen, then the Menu button at the top left, then select Room Settings. From here, if you select an existing room, you can change its name, which is very important when using Siri. When you ask her to do something like turn on the lights in a room, this is the name she'll be using. You can add a room to a zone. A zone would be something like a basement, kids rooms, or master suite where you want a single command to control an area instead of a room. An example would be Siri, turn off lights in the kids rooms. You can personalize your home app by taking pictures of the rooms and adding them as wallpaper. You can take a new picture or choose an existing one. Finally, you can remove the room. On the room settings menu, you can also add rooms. From here, you can name the room and customize the wallpaper. The best way to do multiple things at once with HomeKit is with scenes. In a scene, you can turn on a group of lights, change the temperature, and arm your security system with a single command. Let's set up a welcome home scene. Open the Home app and select a plus sign in the top right corner. Then select Add Scene. Then name the scene. Next, select Add Accessories. We're going to add all of the living room lights and the living room thermostat, then select Done. Press and hold on the devices to change what they do when the scene is activated. I'm going to have the lights come on to 75%, and I'm going to set the thermostat to 68. Then select Done. Now we can have Siri activate the scene. Siri, welcome home. You can always press and hold on a scene after you make it to adjust what each device does or add new ones. One of the great features of HomeKit is the ability to invite others to use it. Start by opening the Home app. Select Home at the bottom, then select the house on the top left corner. Select Invite and enter the Apple ID email address for the person you want to give access to your HomeKit. Then select Send Invite in the top right corner. The pending invitation will appear in the people list. To revoke a person's access or cancel an invitation, select the person from the list and remove or cancel. In this video, we've created our HomeKit home, added devices, managed rooms, created scenes, and invited others to use HomeKit. For more help with HomeKit, please check out our other videos. Thanks, and have a great day. Check the description for links to products to take your HomeKit to the next level. Subscribe to be notified as new help videos are released.